Evening folks, it's 7.30 in the evening on the 17th of January. Impossibilities for... I've done, I've done crop circles, I've done landscape geometry, I've done the impossibility of lumps of rock in space. Here's a bit of spatial geometry for you. Draw a little circle. And then around that circle, start putting some loops. Until in time, you've done 30 loops, with the inside of each loop just touching the outside of that circle. And then when you've done those 30 loops, put a ring around those 30 loops so that it looks like that. What you'll find is that that little circle there represents the orbit of the Earth. That big circle there represents the orbit of Saturn. And that this is accurate to over 99.92%. Coincidence, maybe. Here's another even more accurate one. Draw a circle, the large black circle in the middle. On the cardinal points of that circle, use them as the centre of four more circles represented by the dotted lines that just touch each other. As a result, in the middle of that original circle, you find a little pattern forming with four concave sides. Here's this pattern slightly larger. In the middle of that concave four-sided pattern, draw a small circle. That small circle represents the orbit of Mars, and that big circle represents the orbit of Jupiter to an accuracy of 99.97%. Less than a hundred thousand kilometers over many, many millions of kilometers. One of the greatest geomancers of our modern time, John Martineau, has illustrated these in a very rare book, a book of coincidence. And he has delineated many, something like 50 to 60 different patterns involving all of the different planets, suggesting that the planetary positions, their orbital speeds and their distances from each other are not random. Go from there. Tomorrow, fifth and final one of four impossibilities.